So this very white expanse uh, that you see here is a giant sheet of watercolor paper. This is the Arches 140 pound cold press. It is my all time favorite paper. And this is a 23 by 32 inch sheet, I believe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold and tear this guy down. So to get this guy cut up, I have my Prismacolor Color Race Pink pencil just to get a couple small lines. I have a ruler, this big guy here. And then I'm gonna be using the lid of a Talenti container because it has a nice flat hard edge to fold my paper. First I gotta figure out what size I'm gonna be making a lot of this. And I think what I'm going for mainly is some five by sevens, some eight by tens, you know, some not super huge sizes because I'm not a big painter. So I'm gonna just mark out. Then I'm gonna take this, the whole sheet of paper, rotate it, and then fold it on that line. Starting with the corner, very gently and very slowly. Making sure that it is on that line. Okay, first fold. So then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just gently rub it across the edge. And this will help just break down the fibers of this paper. Then I'm gonna flip it over. Get it on the crease. Hold it down and then I'm gonna crease it again. And all that is doing is breaking down the fibers of this paper so that it'll be weak enough for me to gently tear and get that nice deckled edge. Now I like the deckled edge over a cut edge, even though I do cut my paper too, if I just don't feel like doing this, <laughs> is because it just, it looks nicer, especially if you're framing and matting a piece and leaving the edges of the painting, it just looks really nice. It's also just more fun to work with. Because this paper, I get this paper in sheets, it has a deckled edge on all sides, mainly the, um, the long sides, you get the full deckle and then you get a nice tear um, for where the paper was torn before. So we're just gonna repeat this a couple more times. All right, I think we're ready to tear. So I'm basically just folding it into a V-shape and just gently pulling enough, putting enough pressure that it'll just rip that edge. There are other ways to tear it, but this really is the best way. It's kind of awkward once you get to the longer part. And then once I get to the middle where I think it's too hard to pull, I'm gonna switch sides harder to see on this side and repeat it oh just one small tear oh that's okay so there we have our first piece so that's gonna be five by sevens there is one small tear that just didn't want to let go there but the rest looks good all right so here is all the paper so from one um, full sheet of uh, arches called pressed I have two big 8 by 10s I have three 6 by 8s and then I have four um, full size 5 by 6 5 by 7 yes <laughs> sorry four 5 by 7s and then I also have Three other five by sevens that are just slightly off that just I wasn't paying attention to the size. And then I have a few, you know, swatch size cards, uh, mainly the corners. This is a corner that's an edge. 
Um, and then this nice big sheet that did get slightly bent when I was folding it, so I'm just gonna leave it a bigger sheet and use it for um, probably another swatch card. Swatch card. And um, yes, so lots of workable paper. So there you go, that is how I will rip, uh, measure, tear my paper. If you enjoyed this quick paper tearing um, tutorial, so if you ever wondered how to do that with watercolor paper and get those beautiful edges, there you go. And again, if you enjoyed watching this video, leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment your paper experiences, your favorite paper would be great. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.